Hey everyone, here is the set of exercises that I'm currently doing with my mom. She is currently, you know, not very mobile, in bed most of the day, and so these are very simple exercises. Feel free to share this video with anyone that you think it might help, and let's get started. So my mom usually lays down and is watching TV or resting, and so I'm like, okay mom, um, we're gonna have you get up and then lay on the other side, because a lot of times people lay on the same side, which is not great for circulation. So we're gonna do this together, the whole video. So you're gonna get up nice and slowly, and the more they rest in bed, that might be even a difficult task for them. So we sit up, and then we're gonna lay down the other way. Super simple, but again, we some people have trouble bringing their legs up. It takes core strength, it takes back strength. Um, so these basic, simple exercises are really difficult for some people. So then we push ourselves back up, sit all the way up, come back to center, and then we're gonna go one more time each way. So you can do this up to as many times as you like. We're gonna lay down, bring the feet up, lay down, rest, allow the body to relax, and then use the abdominal muscles, thinking of pulling them in to support the back, press up with the hands, use those arms, shoulder, back muscles, come back up to seated, readjust, find your center, and then we're gonna go the opposite way. So again, we don't often use our brain and our body to lay the opposite way. We get very habitual in our patterns uh, when we lie down, when we move, especially as we get older. Uh, so these are things that I worked with my clients. And then getting back up to center. And you can do this another time. I had my mom do it uh, three times each. You can go ahead and do that. All right, now that we're here, we're going to um, work the arms. So a lot of times we, we, don't, we don't lift our arms over the head anymore. So raising our arms up over the head and then back down. So we're gonna do this five times. That was one, there's two. So really reach up, back down. I find that as we get older, we don't use this range of motion. We don't reach up over the head. And so don't, if you don't use it, you lose it, all right? So here's two more, four, and one more, lifting arms up, and then back down, nice. All right, so that might've created a little bit of tension, so we're gonna ro rotate that out. So gentle head circles. You can do a full circle, you can do a half circle, you know what feels best for your neck. If there's any pain or pinching, maybe just over to the side, side to side. We wanna stretch the muscles out. All right, so we stretched our neck. Now we're gonna stretch the shoulders. So we're gonna bring the shoulders up and then pull them back. Use those muscles and then press them down. All right, so again, lift them up and then pull them back. Use those elbows if we need to. We, we forget about these back muscles because when we often sit a lot, the older we get, bring them up, pull them back, and then our back starts to round, our shoulders start to round, and we lose that gorgeous posture. And I think we'll do two more. Up, back, and then down. Last one, really pull it up to the ears. Back, pull the elbows back, shoulder blades together, and then down. Good, wiggle it out. Okay, now to the legs. So we're gonna, you can um, keep your hands here, you can support yourself wherever feels good. You're just going to take the right leg and you're going to straighten it as high as you can. See if you can bring it up and then back down. All right, so you're gonna hold up and then release. We're gonna do it five times. This is three. See if you can get it. A lot of times it only goes to here. See if you can straighten it, lift it, lift it, lift it. And then one more and then up. Hold it up, good. You might feel some pinching or some tightening. You can rub your leg, wiggle it out, shake it, whatever. But again, that's using these, these uh, quadricep muscles that we don't often use when we are sedentary a lot. Left side. So again, you can hold wherever you need to. You're gonna lift that left leg up, straighten the leg as much as you can. Very nice. My feet might be dirty, I just realized. <laughs> I live in the jungle. So again, up, okay. We'll do three more. So really lift, 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 lift. Ah, good, release. Two more, see if you can really straighten it. And then last one, up and hold. And 
and release. Good. You might need to wiggle the leg. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Very nice. Okay. Now we're going to get up. So if you use a walker or a chair, if you need something to steady you, grab that. Um, we're going to stand up and sit down five times. So you're going to use your hands if you need it, and you're going to stand up and then sit back down. There we go. So if that's all that's, it's good, stick with that. If it's easy, we're going to, when we stand up and get settled, we're gonna then raise our arms over our head to keep up a little longer. So we'll do four like that. So you're gonna stand up. You're gonna raise the arms up over the shoulders, bring them back down, and then sit. Good. And we'll do, I think we're on three more. Here we go, stand up. Watch your balance, use those muscles. Lift, back down, nice and slowly. You got it, you got it, you got it. You might, heart might be going. Let's do two more. You got it, use those leg muscles, use the back muscles, lift. And last one, if it's too much to lift your arms over, just do the stand, it's okay, you got this. All right, ready, here we go. Use those belly muscles, pull the belly in, support the back, maybe lift the arms overhead. And then we go back down nice and slowly. Whew, okay, catch the breath. Again, these simple movements can be difficult the older we get. And so sometimes your heart might be going, if you, if you sit a lot, if you lay down a lot, it's okay. The goal of these exercises is to keep you moving. All right, now what we're gonna do is we are going to lift the leg up. Just the, So we're thinking of bringing the knee to the chest. Now, sometimes what people do is I see this, they rock back to lift the leg. We don't wanna do that if you can. You can use the, the arm to help you if you need, but we're going to lift and think of doing a little crunch motion. Maybe you hold it or you let go and then you lower it down. We're gonna hold at the top for two counts, all right? Five times. So maybe your hands are here, lift it one, two, and then back down. And four more times, here we go. Up, two. Notice how it uses your abdominal muscles, you're using the hip flexor. This is great for working when you wanna step up on steps, to get into the shower. Basic things that we forget that, you know, we can get back through simple exercises. And we have one more. Up, really pull it, and back down. Good, you might have a little cramp, you might have a little, so good, shake it out. There you go. All right, left leg. So again, wherever you need, maybe you hold on to the leg, but you think of crunching, bring the knee to the chest. And release, maybe the hands are down. Don't lean back, but lean forward, bring it up. And down, we'll do three more. And lift it up. Good, think of pulling that belly toward the inside. Even if it's just barely moving, that's okay. I think we have one more. <laughs> Go to five. Here we go. And release, shake it out. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of, your back might be a little tight, so we're gonna do a little gentle twist. So take your right hand on your right knee, take the left hand somewhere behind you or to the side, sit up nice and tall, and then look over your left shoulder and use the hand to push and twist you. Maybe that hand comes to the left leg, that's okay, wherever it feels good. Use the muscles to twist. And then slowly release. A breath or two to let the back settle. And then we're gonna go the other way. So left hand to left knee, right arm behind you. Maybe if you get the deeper twist, you take it to the right, you sit up tall, inhale. Exhale, look over the right shoulder and twist. Use those arm muscles to deepen the twist. Breathe into the ribs, feel the gentle stretch. And then go back, a breath to recalibrate the spine, the muscles. Now, if it feels good, the next exercise I had my mom do, we did two more. So I had her get up and either use her walker and try not to rest the forearms on the walker, but actually hold with the arms if it's okay, but if you need to use the forearms, do it. Whatever it is today, do that. Maybe you don't need your walker. I want you to go to the farthest room in your house. So walk there, and then you're gonna walk back. And actually, if uh, while you're there, if there are books, this was her last assignment for today. 
So she watches a lot of TV. So I want to, and again, the memory is not as agile as it used to be. My mom is brilliant. I mean, she was a rocket scientist. She worked for NASA. <laughs> And the more she watches TV and the less she reads, the less she uses her memory. Um, so I'm gonna, her assignment for tonight is to grab a book, any book, and read anywhere from a few sentences, a paragraph, a few pages, as much as she wants. But I want her to remember it. She can write it down, what she reads, but she wants her to remember it. And then I'm gonna ask her what she read tomorrow. So share this with loved ones. Um, even if you don't live in the same state, it's important to spend time with our, our family. And this is my way, I'm so excited for this, to spend time every day with my mom for 10, 10 minutes. You know, super easy. And I love my mom. So have fun, share this video with everyone who might need it. Mwah.